Hi friends, we'll continue to learn our PHP basics. Here I am inside the jam control panel and you can see here my Apache and MySQL is running. If you are new what it is this jam control panel and all you can watch our previous videos. The numbers are there in that you can the link is at the description you can just see that. Now here I am just uh, showing you my configuration file Apache config here it is. Now I'll scroll down and my home directory or my uh, root directory is where it is this is the setting i have kept it so here it is f jamp hd doc inside this folder my home directory or root is located we'll start writing our php code you can use any editor if you want even notepad can be used whether i'll recommend notepad plus plus you use it now i am using a different one trying because my earlier python i was using this so i am going for a new file i am saying it is php so create a new php file where i am storing as you seen that my local example my local host or my root of the uh, my site is here HTT doc inside at this location. I will save my file I will give the name PHP info info dot PHP now. This is the file. I am creating now. Let me just okay It's a blank file now what I will do. I will say echo let I am saying PHP info now this is the function sorry here it is not required and I, I will end it with a semicolon so this is the basic syntax I, what is php info will shortly will discuss i am saving this in my browser let's open this whatever page i have created now so i am writing localhost because i created the file here php info.php so this is the file i have stored here so i am ad, uh, approaching or i am using my address bar to open this file here you see now it has printed eco php info that is what i have written but tell me this is not what i was expected why because as it's just printed like a text even if i'll just go there now let me go there i will next line i will write something I'm not following any syntax pattern of it. I've saved this file again came back here refreshing this you can see this all these things are though it is not a valid PHP syntax but still it is throwing why it is so because mainly because we are not telling the execute a PHP script here uh, we are just it is like a text it is going to the browser for that we will specify that use your PHP this is the start code and end of php is this so now whatever we write we have to follow exact php syntax for that and that will be executed by php now th this way i am saying that and anything we write after that this is no more you it will be part of the php script but it will be displayed as a text like simple plain html it will be displayed let me or even uh, before that even if I, I can write anything let me give a line break here so we can see that i am not following any syntax here i am just telling but whatever comes between these two tags stat and end tags that i must follow the php because that will be the my php script or php code now what i can i can have multiple such uh, code blocks also let us call this as php code block now i have saved it now i will go to my browser again now refresh this what you see is a output of php info now you just see whatever initially we have written at the top that has come here and at the end after writing php info you will see what you have written at the bottom also this is a big this is actual php info gives the, all the details i can't show you right now it is there at the bottom it is there let me increase the recording area so you can see now here at the bottom all the details whatever we have written that is printed now what this PSP info gives us this tells us about the entire uh, what is the PSP installation this right from the top it gives me the version then many installation when you progress and see lot of other functions and environment all the details we will see how it is connected to my skill what are the facilities or what are the libraries we have enabled all those we can see it here so this gives me a snapshot of what my php installation is all about let's print hello world and start our coding so i will just save this 
save as say test one PHP file by default it is so I will paste a few lines of code you can see here this is the HTML head title this these are all part of the HTML this is also end tag in between here you can see my PHP code is here this is the script I have to follow the entire all the syntax here the PHP syntax or the uh, whatever uh, you can see here it's a echo command printing a output to the browser let me save this and now let's go to our browser again now here sorry not this one my page is here yeah so here you can see now test one dot php now this is the new file we have created so that's what i am thinking and you can see the hello world now if you view the source of it view page so you can see all our html tags whatever we have written but the starting and ending php tags are not there the actually that considered php php execute that and returns me the output before we move to loops and the various switch statements and all you can watch this uh, two videos here one is on variables and different uh, variables how it will be used what are the syntax to follow and you can scroll down and then understand that what are the different types of variable global local and static variables these two and then we will move towards our loops and uh, various applications developing using loops i will request you please Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. We'll continue our PHP le learning this particular series of videos with that and with various uh, uh, application developing. And if you have any issues or want to learn something, you can use the comment section below to post it. Accordingly, we'll work on it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.